Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today, we're gonna to look at what passwords you should not be using. So, you've got a password to log into your computer, to log into your online banking, to log into your Facebook, to log into your mail, whatever it may be. You've probably got you know, maybe 10, 20 different sorts of passwords that you are using across a number of different services. There is a list of passwords that have been identified as being the most commonly used passwords out on the internet. Essentially what happened is a number of years ago, there was a massive hack that happened at a huge website. They managed to get a list of all of those commonly used passwords on that website, and out of that, concocted a list of the most commonly used passwords from individuals that were using that website. And they found that literally thousands, tens of thousands of people were using the same password combinations for a number of different systems. And most of the time, those passwords are gonna be used in other places. So. If you have a password, and if your password is any of these, or even similar to any of these, you should be changing it, because this password is known to the hacking community. One, two, three, four, five, six is the most commonly used password out on the internet by most of you. The other list of combinations are generally one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So any of those number combinations should never be used. And if you're using them, you should be changing them. Another commonly used password is, drum roll, password. Who would have thought that one of the most common passwords in use today is password? If you've got password as your password, don't use it, bad, bad practice, you should be changing that. Now the simple one is admin. You know, I'm an administrator, I wanna set the password as admin. Here's a nice, cute little password that a lot of people would use. I love you, or I L-O-V-E, you. Combinations that a lot of people use, but it's a bad password to be using. QWERTY or qwerty -o. You may think, what is this QWERTY that you're talking about? Why would people even use that? Well, it's so random. Well, it's not actually random. If you look at the very top of your keyboard, you've got some keys on there. Q-W-E-R-T-Y, all next to each other. Password that is used, people think that it may be difficult because it's just random, but it's not random. It's just the first few you know, letters on the top of any standard keyboard. Login, why would you have login as your password? You may think it's hard. Login, ooh, I don't know, don't use that. A, B, C, one, two, three. Simple, simple, simple. I think it's simple anyway. And so did a whole bunch of hackers out there um, and ho a whole bunch of people who were using it. You think it's complicated because it contains both letters and numbers, um, but it's actually just the first three letters and the first three numbers joined together. Not good. Hello. Don't use hello as your password. The password of football, F-O-O-T-B-A-L-L, -L. not a good password. You may love football wherever you may be from. If you're from Europe, if you're from the States, if you're from Australia, wherever you may be, football is different for many different sorts of people, but it's not a good password. And the final password in my top 10 list is let me in. Do not use that password. I've seen, actually I've got friends who have used that password, let me in, thinking it's complicated, thinking it's funny, it's quirky, you know, oh, it's gonna be really, really cool, let me in, it's so funny. Don't use it. So there you have it, that is my top 10 most used passwords out on the, out on the internet and the combinations or the, the different alternatives of those top 10 passwords. If you're using any of those, you should change it. Now what you'll find is you could think, oh well, who's gonna try to attack me? You know, I, I may be using one of these passwords. Um, still not a good idea. Uh, what uh, a lot of hackers do is that they can do this attack called the brute force attack and they essentially can try a number of passwords on your account. So let's say, for example, they know your Facebook uh, username, which could be your email address, and they're gonna try against a library of known used passwords, which includes those 10 that we talked about, and a whole bunch more, and they're gonna just try attempt over and over again, attempt to access your account until they eventually get in. So make your password complicated, 
change it often, make it complex with uppercase, lowercase, with percentages and you know dollar signs and all these special characters have a number in there. Make it complex and don't use these simple password combinations that we talked about today. So that is my video. I hope you found it helpful. I would love it if you like this video and especially I would love it if you subscribe to Digital Bike Computing. I've got a whole bunch of other videos around technology and the IT uh, space and what's cool in tech right now. So as I said, love this video, subscribe to Digital Bike Computing and we'll see you next time.